universe. It's Caner Tip Tuesday. And today is an exciting day because we begin the six part series on cane flow, the cane dance of self defense and longevity. One of the more popular topics in ACSD and easily the most misunderstood. But before we do that, as always, a warm welcome to everyone, and especially those of you who are here for the first time. If you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon so that you don't miss any future segments. And you have two free resources. The most important one is the no cost King Clarity Call. Text the letter CCC to the number on the screen in less than 24 hours. We will have scheduled a phone call with you to answer all your questions and make sure that you get things right. If you're new to this, how do you start training? How can you do it in the comfort of home? What about canes? What else do I need? So you get it right. It's going to save you a ton of time, funds, and frustration. And then you have two uh, Facebook groups that are open to the public. Read the description. One of them happens to be called Cane Flow. And just request entry and they'll let you write in. So <clears throat> people look at uh, Cane Flow and the untrained eye, those that are unfamiliar with what we do, essentially what you're seeing is a dance, it seems like, with the, the cane. That's what it is. It's it's cane dancing or maybe exercising with the cane or uh, showing off <laughs> all this handling and uh, spinning and people call it spinners and, and whatnot. And so let, let's go step by step. And today what I'm going to cover, this one was prompted uh, by a conversation we were having with the uh, group who is doing the empty hand level two. Again, if you're here uh, for the first time, <clears throat> American Cane Self-Defense from the onset decades ago, originally put together as a cane slash empty hand system, meaning everything that you do with this tool, the movements hold the key. You do the exact same thing when you don't have the cane, you do it with the empty hand. And when you're flowing with that, it's referred to as fist flow. But <clears throat> I'm gonna take one component that we study, we dedicate an entire module to it. So when we de dedicate a module uh, to something in the curriculum, you know it's, it's it's pretty important. And that is the concept of walking the circle and what that circle represents in ACSD. So um, to differentiate, there's something called caner circles. That is a social uh, uh, activity, a get together of caners, um, you know, you know, there's nothing official about it. You can do it in your own backyard uh, if you know what you're doing. And, um, you know, they get in a circle and they go in there, they're playing music and they're moving and they're doing their flows and they take turns and that's done um, in, in a friendly uh, spirit, not, not competitive at all. Um, and then there is the actual walking in the training of the circle and the principles that it teach. So that's what we're, we're talking about. There's a very specific way that you handle with this cane walking. We do a drill where you're walking in, in a circle and then you enter the circle. So walking that circle represents um, the, the anything that has to do with a circle, the circular movement in ACSD where you see a caner might go in and maybe he does a jump spin or he goes in there and he does a pivot blend and it looks like he's giving his back. What you're doing is you're dealing there with multiple assailants. And ACSD, if you go back to why it was put together in the first place, it was put together to deal against blade knife attacks and the concern for multiple assailants. And so the study happens early in that training, the training beyond the foundation, beyond um, the, the, the leader level. And it's learning how to walk and how to stay at that um, outside that circle represents keeping your distance and how to start negating the angles that the opponent might have. And to give you an example, if we're, we're having an altercation and you see the way that I'm standing here, I'm pretty square up. Matter of fact, uh, today you'll see, uh, you know, especially am amongst the men, you know, the, the testosterone that where everybody just, you know, chest out and, you know, right up in your face and everything that's vital is exposed. Well, ACSD teaches <coughs> just the opposite of that, where <clears throat> you're going in a half body. So I'll just slightly turn. I'm sitting down on a chair because it applies as well when you're sitting down <clears throat> and now you don't see the shoulder anymore. And the cane is going to be held in such a way that it can easily come up here to deflect and just become a barrier between yourself and that incoming attack. And so there's a, a very specific way that caners learn how to move and maneuver that uh, a cane as they're moving around in that circle. 
And there's a concern also for keeping everybody in your 10 and 2 field of vision as much as possible. And so there's a very specific way we have an agreement as to where the point of focus is, what represents that assailant, and how not, not to turn your back uh, on that assailant. And so as you're walking <clears throat> in that circle, you may have to shift your view, right? Where you're looking is where the action is taking place. Now, that's one component of it. The other component is entering that circle. And once you enter that circle, it implies that you are coming in contact. You are fighting in that circle. And within there, we walk a figure eight. There's a figure eight pattern um, that we walk in there. And it, the, the cane it, being held in this case with two hands, it doesn't have that. There's a variety of ways of doing it, but typically it's gonna be here and here. When you do it empty hand, it's an arrow hand, and the other hand is up here, in other words, guarding the top and the bottom, and it shifts. Maybe you're going in there with something we call an armadillo, and it shifts once you're inside the circle, right? Because it, what it's teaching you is how to go from one side to the other because you might be dealing with multiple assailants, and what's the footwork that's gonna give you the best probability of maintaining everybody in the 10 and two, but then making that move that can have you escape and get out of there all the while while countering, right? So there's a time to engage, there's a time to move away from, all this presupposing that you just could not avoid this situation. And again, whatever you do with the tool, um, you're also going to do it empty hand. And so in doing that, that that's the combatives, that's, that's where it comes from. And I wanna be clear, there, we're going to talk also about, not, not today, but in the second segment, we'll talk about the health benefits of doing that type of exercise and what that does for the brain and, and for your physiology and, you know, your breathing and everything else. It is possible, it's very possible, and I'll elaborate on this in a future segment, to teach, you know, for the coaches, they can go ahead and teach a movement-based class with a cane, whether it be with a cane or empty hand, and not talk about the combative aspect of it at all. Yet, in that movement is all <laughs> combative concepts. And so they can do both ways. They can teach it to you with the combative component, but uh, those who don't have an interest in, in, in that, but they do have an interest in all the health benefits that come with this kind of flow movement, well, that's in there as well, all right? So this is the first component. It's shedding some light on the concept of walking the circle. So the next time that you see, whether it be a caner circle, which is a social um, activity of caners taking turns going in there with music and whatnot, um, or you see it just in the solo training, caner empty hand. Now you have further insights as to what all that, that all is about. Go ahead and ask uh, questions. And we're always happy to, to hear what it is you want to uh, know more of. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep caning and stay safe.